and welcome to a very special post triple eviction phone interview with Ali, Liv, and of course, Johnny. Now look, this is just a short, quick phone interview, although this show will be a little bit longer than our other phone interviews, where you guys can hear what they were thinking immediately following the eviction. Now, you could have tweeted me your questions for them over on Twitter by using hashtag YRRLive. Just tweet them to me after the eviction at Reality Recaps. Of course, we're live tweeting during the shows, and we've done these all season and long, as well as had the evicted house guests on so that you guys can ask them your questions live. So look, if you missed any of our past shows, they're over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan. You can check out our blogs there, our cheat sheets, our spoiler graphics, our past shows, all of it over on our website. If you want to watch us do the shows live, be alerted every single time we go live. Again, it's free, and that's over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now. Just become a fan over there. You get alerted every time we go live, and we're live every single day of the week. Of course, if you want to help support our shows, keep bringing you more content, we have lots in store for you post Big Brother Canada. From MTV's The Challenge, we're bringing on more Bravo shows. We have Bravo shows happening right now as well and of course BB20 is starting in about a month and about a week um so make sure you become a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron patrons get access to the patron only Facebook group prize giveaways shows every single week for patrons and of course you get access to the patron after shows this BB can season where when the house guests after the season is over in about two weeks the jury will be coming on every single night uh, for at least an hour to answer your guys's questions live on you now so make sure you become a fan over there and then we go live in the patron group for a private after party which is more uh, one on one. So it is a great way to help support our shows. It's a great way to get extra bonus content. Of course, you can always become um, a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron or do a one-time donation to help support our shows if you like anything we've done this season uh, at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. We really appreciate it. But we need to go get on the line with these crazy kids. So how you doing, Ali? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Great. So first question, uh, do you think that another house meeting could have saved you this week? What was up with all the house meetings this season? Oh my God, literally, I haven't had as many house meetings since I was like a kid and my dad held one every other week. It was pretty ridiculous, but um, I don't know. I don't know that it would have done anything, to be honest. It was just going to be more he said, she said, she said, he said type of scenario. So I really don't think... I think what I should have done in hindsight, I saw Kayla go in one last time after a candid conversation that we had um, by the balcony there. And I think I may have let something slip that came off in a way where she took it and ran with it. She said she wanted Derek to win the next H2H. And I see, yeah, I get that. I hear you. I hope he does for his sake too kind of thing. But when I said, I hope he does, I think she took it, ran with it and kind of spun it to the trio that I was on Derek's side. And I think that when I saw her go into the white room to talk to them, I walked in and they asked for a minute. I think I should have just stood my ground and said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let her spew some more stuff at you. Instead, I walked out. And then I ultimately didn't have time to talk to Paris and Will. And I think that that was probably the determining factor. Um, so I wish I had just taken those two aside and had one more conversation with them. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know? Um, do you regret listening to Kayla and voting out Erica earlier in the season, leaving Will in the house? No, I don't really regret leaving Will in the house. Ultimately, uh, I think my relationship with Will was genuine. I think that just over the course of the last couple of days, um, he heard a lot of things that confused him and I probably didn't you know, say everything that I needed to say to convince him otherwise. i looking back, there was a couple of things that he asked me that I think he was looking for a specific answer and I kind of danced around it. Um, I think Will would have stayed loyal if I had just given him the answers he was looking for, even if they weren't genuine. I think Erica was a huge threat and I don't know, much like Johnny, that there is a second chance to get them out. Uh, so Erica needed to go when she went. I don't regret that. Uh, if there is anything I regret, would be probably keeping Johnny. 
Okay, well, so then speaking of Johnny, do you feel as though Johnny betrayed you this week? And who do you think would have been better to go on the block to assure Kayla went home? I do feel a little bit betrayed by Johnny. I know I was relentless in saving his game last week, and I thought that that would show him how loyal I was. Um, I think that he was focused on amending his relationship with Will, but I think Will would have been an excellent candidate to go up to ensure Kayla went home. But even Maddie, I mean, he kept saying he had no emotional ties to Maddie, and I know he was fearful that Liv and I would vote against Maddie and keep Kayla. But ultimately, I gave him my word that if I didn't go up, I would vote Kayla out, and I had full intent of keeping my word. Okay. Um, Do you feel that being so open with your friendship with Liz in the game, uh, Liv in the game made you a target? You know, early on, we got kind of pinned together because we got along so well. She and I never had any specific conversation about, hey, let's do this. Let's become a thing and let's go to the end together or anything like that. It just, we got pinned together early on and we really, that it didn't matter if we spent time apart or what we did. We were always going to be viewed as such a duo. Um, So at that point, it was more just about owning it and just, you know, being ride or die for each other. And hopefully through people seeing the type of relationship we had, they would feel comfortable knowing that we had similar relationships with them if they committed to us. Okay. And lastly, uh, are you excited to see Ryan in jury? And who do you hope (laughs) follows you next to jury? Um, I am actually excited to see Ryan. I want the opportunity to explain myself. I flipped the house on him last week and kept Johnny. Um, and I know he's probably really frustrated and would like some explanations on that. So I would like to shed some light and hopefully alleviate some of his stress. Um, but also I would love to just pick his brain and see what his perspective is on everything. And we can compare notes and I can vent and hopefully we can kind of wallow in our sorrows together. Uh, Who I would like to see about right behind me is definitely Paris followed by Will, 100%. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, Allie. No problem. My pleasure. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. And up next, we have Olivia and Johnny. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. All right. I'm going to start with uh, Liv first, then. Is that okay? Awesome. How are you? Great. So from your perspective, why do you think they chose to keep the showmans together but vote out Allie? Um, I think because, honestly, that morning, Kayla had campaigned extremely hard, promising them the sun and the moon, saying they're going to be safe during the triple, and these people are so short-sighted. That's what they went for. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that's why they voted Allie out. Okay. If you had won the Triple HOH, who would you have nominated? Um, I would have nominated Derek, Will, and Paris. So then at least if, you know, one comes down, I can still get um, Will and uh, Derek out. Or if one of the main ones come off, I get just Derek out or just Will out. Either way, it was a win. Okay, what did you think of Will calling you a floater before the vote? I thought it was absolutely hysterical because Will knows nothing about my game. (laughs) I saw through him like week two. He wanted everyone to be his number one but wouldn't give anything. So I stopped talking game with him and I guess he just assumed I wasn't talking game with anyone, which was really hilarious. Okay, and last question. Do you think agreeing to vote out Erica during Kayla's HOH was a mistake now? Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it differently because at the time it seemed like the right thing to do. But I do think about what could have been if I had kept her in the game. If, you know, Johnny, Erica, myself, and Allie had been a foursome moving forward and taken on Dela, and maybe we would still be here past the triple. I would definitely think about that, but it's not like a heavy regret. All right. Um, Question for the butterfly of death, Johnny. (laughs) Hey, what's up? (laughs) Uh, Serious question. Did you have GPS in that house? Because (laughs) how did you know to bust into every single room when someone was campaigning or meeting up this week? (laughs) 
Like, no joke, I feel like my mind was constantly thinking game that anytime somebody came through, my first question was, hey, where's everyone at? Like, I was always trying to map out where people were. There's no doubt that, like, knowing where people are at any given moment, you can kind of get an idea of who's talking to who. Lots of the time it was not about game, but most of the time it was, you know. Um, specifically with last week, I was very, very on Derek and Kayla and who they were talking to, and I wanted to make sure that because Will, Maddie, and Paris had promised that Kayla would be the one going home, I did not want them getting in her in all three of their ears because I knew that they had the power of persuasion, and um, I knew that Will, Maddie, and Paris were subject to the power of persuasion. So, yeah, did my best to try to break that up as much as I could. Okay, so then on that topic, do you regret putting Allie up as the replacement for Derek? Do you think that anyone else would have been a better choice to make sure Kayla left? I think that you could look at the fact that Allie went and say, like, oh, should have done, like, Will, Maddie, or Paris. But, like, once Derek won that veto, I do not think that there was, especially with Allie going this week, I do not think that there was any way that Kayla didn't stay. I think that if I put Will, Maddie, or Paris up on the block, then Allie and Liv definitely would have worked with Derek and Kayla to get that person out. I knew that they were trying to get me to do that anyways in order to do exactly that. And even though they said to me, like, no, we're not going to do it, like, I can't trust that. And the fear of having Allie, Liv, Derek, and Kayla left in the game with me and two of Will, Maddie, and Paris was just way worse than the fear of me left with one of Allie and Liv, Derek, and Kayla, and all three of Will, Maddie, and Paris, especially because Will, Maddie, and Paris are less comp- uh, less competitive threats to me than, you know, Allie, Liv, Derek, and Kayla. Right. Did you think that it would be this hard to convince the house to send out a powerful couple showmance this week? Like, what the hell? I did not think it would be this difficult throughout the entire game. I feel like I was the only person who saw what difficult, like, how difficult it would be to get them out at any point in this game. The fact that I put them both up on the block and one was still remaining there and they still kept them inside, it was like, have you not watched the show? I literally illustrated every single season that's passed and all the different times that a show match has made it deep into the game and everyone still thought that they were, like, on their good side or something, that they'd protect them or, I don't know. People just play with fear. That's what it is. And people don't look at the longevity of the game, and they don't understand how they can get to the final two and win. And um, I mean, it's frustrating for me to say that, but at the same time, like Derek and Kayla were two people who I didn't work with the most out of every single other person inside the house. So it made sense for me to target them as well. Like if they did have special connections with other people, which I highly doubt because I know they just lie through their teeth and they're very dirty in the way they play, which you know respect as well. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I just. I have my my idea about how they played the game, and at this point, I will give them respect if they get to the end, but I wish I knew more about how they're playing throughout. All right, who do you hope wins right now? This question is kind of for both of you. Who do you guys hope wins it all right now, and who do you hope to see following you both next? Are you saying there's no jury battle back? What? <laughs> I can't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to see Will walk through those doors because I want to yell at him. <laughs> and I want to see Kayla win. I think that of them all, Kayla is probably the most deserving to win it at this point. Um, I, I worked with Will throughout so much of this game and in so many different alliances. I know he had a lot going on throughout like every point in the game, but I would also like to see him potentially win as well. All right. Well, thank even though like even though lately he's been pretty lazy, but yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you both for taking the time to talk with us, and we can't wait to see you guys postseason. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a great one. Well, that about wraps up our phone interview with Allie, John, and Libby. Now, again, look, I think you guys might know um, Allie and uh, Johnny and Liv were all separate. We couldn't really tip any of them off that Allie uh, was being followed by Johnny and Liv. We can't really say anything to them because we can't taint the jury. Because I know a lot of people are like, why are you only saying yeah and uh huh and okay? We're not allowed to say anything to them other than what uh, the questions are. So that's why maybe that seems a little bit weird to you guys. But again, like I said, we will be live with the entire jury, uh, one of them, every single night of the week, postseason. So that's happening real soon in about two weeks. Uh, make sure you're following us over on you now, yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now. Become a fan over there. It's totally free, so you're alerted every time that we go live. Um, of course, you can see all of these shows back if you miss them live over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash 
BB Can. And finally, if you want to help support our shows, like I said, consider becoming a patron, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron, or doing a one-time donation over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. I'll see you guys all in the next show. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.